Hi, this is Jonathan Roberts. I'm excited to share a new discovery with you. If you've been doing Zoom lessons and you're not super happy with the sound quality even after you and your students have made all the sound adjustments, this is a really cool workaround. It's a service called Source Connect Now, which is free, and it essentially allows you to achieve broadcast quality sound with your students, and you can use it in conjunction with Zoom or really any other video conferencing tool so that you get the best sound possible along with the video. And I haven't done a ton of experimenting with it, but I did do a, a test that I'd like to share with you. So this is going to be a tutorial on how to get it set up, how to share it with your students, and then you can see sort of a back-to-back -back testing of the sound quality. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go to now.source-elements.com. And this is the main page for the service. Now, I don't know if it's going to be free forever because it does say it's in beta. So once it's out of beta, it may cost something. But at least for now, it's uh, really cool and reasonably easy to set up. I've already set up my account, but you just have to set up an account when you first uh, sign in. And then you'll stay logged in every time you come back. So all I have to do once I've set up my account, of course, is to click Start Connection. Oh, and before I go on, I should, uh, I should mention that this only works on Google Chrome. That's the first thing. And the second thing is it only works on desktop computer or Android. So unfortunately, this does not have iOS support. So your student will either have to be using an Android device or a laptop computer, though the laptop could be either Windows or Mac, theoretically. So once everything's set up, you're just going to click Start Connection. And here you're, you're basically setting up your meeting. So you're almost, it's almost like a Zoom meeting, except uh, it's purely for audio. So for send quality, you're basically selecting what quality of audio that you want on your end. You can set up stereo, mono. There's some playing around with this. Uh, I'm imagining a lot will depend on the internet connection. Just for this example, I'm just gonna go ahead and do best with stereo because I do have two inputs and I do have a reasonably fast internet connection. Then here you can set the maximum number of guests per, per person. Uh, and then this little uh, aside here, it says how many people may join your call, four people plus yourself. You can change that to five, up to nine. So I, I suppose theoretically right now you could have up to 10 uh, people at once with this audio. And then you're gonna have to set up a get, what's called a guest pass. And this is essentially a password that you make up for the people you're inviting to to log in. So it's not the same as your password to log on to uh, onto Source Connect. So I'm just gonna make up a password. I'll just call it uh, music. And then you just click connect now. And this is the main dashboard for your audio. So I'm, I'm already connected, so this little green um, bar here, that's the audio. And I have two inputs on my side. One's a lavalier mic, one's a mic that's in the piano. So the, the bigger one's my lavalier mic, and the other one is my piano. So you'll want to set your input and output first before you get started. It doesn't necessarily connect to the right stuff. And that's going to be over here on the right side. So right now I have my uh, Apogee Duet interface plugged in. But if you want to change it to your internal microphone, you can do that. Or um, you know any other options that you have for audio inputs. And then underneath, you're going to have your output. Again, you're going to want to make sure that that's connected to the right thing so that it's playing out the speakers that you're expecting. So the next step is to invite people to this sort of audio conference. You're going to click Invite. And then here you'll enter in the name of the person you're inviting, the email address of the person you're inviting, and then you'll set their audio settings. So you can just kind of take your, your best guess on what will be the best choice based on your understanding of their internet connection. And I believe just like you can change it on your end, they should be able to change it on their end, although I haven't seen the user side of this. That might be different. If anybody has anything to add to any of this, please feel free to drop it in the comments. I'm still, I'm still relatively new to this myself. And I'm not going to actually send the invite uh, because prior to this, I went ahead and did a test connection with a student to do a uh, side-by-side. So uh, next, I'm going to play for you uh, a musical sample and a speaking sample of just a regular Zoom connection. And then you can compare that to this, uh, this Source Connect Now audio option and see if you can hear the difference. For me personally, I think it's significantly clearer with the Source Connect Now audio. 
But uh, go ahead and have a listen, and I'd love to know what you think in the comments. And that is Source Connect Now. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did and you're interested in more tips, tricks, and hacks for this online teaching thing, please do subscribe to the YouTube channel. We'd love to hear from you. Again, my name is Jonathan Roberts. Thank you very much.